So let's analyze question number 15. So this is based on divisibility rule. So you have sum of two numbers and we need to check whether it's divisible by which of the following numbers. So if you closely analyze the answer choices, it's just a combination of, let's say you have two, you need to test the divisibility rule of two, three and 37. That's it. It's just a different combinations. So what we are planning to do is we're going to check First, you start with 2, whether we're gonna check, we, go, we are going to check whether the sum is going to be divisible by 2, then 3, and see what happens. Because 33, it's very hard to, there is no particular divisibility rule as such. So, let's see how it goes, okay? So, let's start with 2. How do you check a number is divisible by 2? You just need to check whether it's an even number or not. That's it. That's a simple rule. I'm going to check here. So, you have triple 2 to the power of triple 3 plus 333 to the power of triple two. Let's start with the first one, okay? So what do you think about this? Whether this number is an even number or odd number? So we can clearly say this is gonna be an even number because triple two, this is an even number. Even number to the power of any number doesn't matter. It's always gonna be even. So that means you're multiplying. See, two, two, two is multiplied by itself. Three, triple three times. So it's you are multiplying with an even number, right? So definitely the output is even. What about the second term? So this is nothing but see, triple three is an odd number. So you have an odd number to the power of triple two, right? You are multiplying this odd number by itself, this triple two times. That doesn't matter because you are always see it's multiplied. See that odd number is multiplied by itself triple two times. That means it's always going to be odd. The result is always going to be odd. So the second term is odd. The first term is even. So that means you are adding one even term plus odd term. So the final result or the output is going to be odd. So which we can clearly say that this, the sum of these two numbers, which is going to be an odd number, and it's clearly it's not divisible by two. Okay. It's not divisible by two. So what you can do at this stage is, Instead of proceeding further, try to eliminate the options because that might like, you know, uh, help you out to uh, save some time as well. Okay. So option A, you can clearly eliminate because option A is saying that this number is divisible by 2, which is not true. We just now proved that it is not divisible by 2. Okay. So option A is eliminated. Option B, okay. It could be your answer. 3 and 37 but not 2 okay as as far as like as long as like until like as of now the, it's it could be your answer i'm not saying this is the right answer it could be possible but option c you could eliminate because it's saying it's divisible by 2 you can eliminate option c and option d also eliminate so that means only option left is option b so this has to be your right answer so option B is your right answer. See, you could easily solve it in less than a minute. You don't need to even use the divisibility rule of 3 or 37 here. You don't need to use it. Because if you eliminate the options at this stage itself, you will get option B is the right answer. Okay. So you don't need to proceed further. You can confidently mark option B as the answer because you eliminated all other options. Okay. So let's say I'm going to Check, I'm gonna like, this is how you should solve it. Let's uh, like, you know, for uh, further understanding, I'm gonna teach you how to check the divisibility rule of three and 37 in this case, okay? So let's try the divisibility rule of three. So how do you check a number is divisible by three? The divisibility rule of three is sum of the digits of that number should be divisible by three. This is the rule. Sum of the digits should be divisible by 3. Okay. So I'm going to take the first number here. Triple 2 to the power of 33. Th triple 3. Sorry. I'm taking the number. Okay. This number. I'm taking triple 2. I'm adding, adding the digits. So it's 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 6. It is divisible by 3. 6 is divisible by 3. So I can say this number is a multiple of 3. So, triple 2 to the power of 
triple three means what it is multiplied by itself try to understand what does that mean by exponents see x cube means what x is multiplied by itself three times similarly this means triple two is multiplied by itself this much times so each number this is a multiple of three this is a multiple of three this is a multiple of three so the entire number or the entire product definitely is gonna be multiple of three or i can say it's gonna be divisible by three we can 100 percent confirm that okay so next is i'm taking the second term which is triple three to the power of triple two i'm taking this number triple three definitely this is a multiple of three you can clearly say right three 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 adding them up adding the digits three plus three plus three which is nine yeah the rule you are satisfying the rule so i could clearly say that triple three is a multiple of three or divisible by three so triple three to the power of any number doesn't matter triple two or any number this is also divisible by three or a multiple of three so that means you have two multiples of three here you are adding them up so definitely the sum is also a multiple of three right see i'm giving you a simple example let's say you are adding three plus six simple example three is a multiple of three six is a multiple of three the sum will definitely be a multiple of three because you are adding two multiples of three same logic we're gonna do it here see triple two to the power of triple three this is a multiple of three or divisible by three and you are adding with another multiple this is also a multiple of three so definitely the sum is also a multiple of three or divisible by three multiple of three or divisible by three so that's the reason we could say three is also correct okay but keep in mind the steps are not required because with once as long once you found out that okay this number or the sum is not divisible by two that's enough to eliminate the answers okay and find out the correct answer i'm showing this for just for like you know extra information like for further information that's it how to check in let's say if you're not able to eliminate the answer choices maybe like you know for just for extra informations okay keep that in mind now let's try for 37 how do you check a divisibility rule of 37 so there is no particular set rule for 37 that you could use okay so let's try here so what you can do is you have triple two to the power of uh, triple three right i'm taking the first term so what you can do is you can check whether this number is divisible by 37 or not that's the only possible option okay that's the only way you could do it so is it a uh, divisible by yes i think so right see 37 times uh yeah 37 times 6 is 2 2 triple four. so this is a multiple of 37 so triple 2 to the power of any number will definitely be divisible by 37 so this is a divisible by 37 because 37 times 6 is triple 2 similarly let's take the next term triple 3 to the power triple 2 so let's take triple 3 I'm checking whether it is divisible by 37. Yes, it is. Because 37, the close multiple as I could think about is 370. 37 times 10 is 370. If you subtract 37 from that, you are getting this. So it is definitely a multiple. So it's 37 times 9 actually. Yeah. So again, this is a multiple of 37. So this number to the power of any number is also a multiple of 37. So you have two multiples the sum is also a multiple of 37 so we could say this is also divisible by 37 that's also true this is how you check the divisibility in this question okay